Hiya, this is Tony from A&R Boilers, members of the Engineer Team Network. I'm doing some bar repair training with Nadine. And today's boiler you can see is an Aztec, it's a triangle electric boiler. And the problem of getting is no heating, no hot water. And the problem is very simple. You might say, why? What's the problem? We'll go over it again. So we're going to turn the heating off. Let's see. It's one of them. Um, that's it. Now you hear the motorized valves close down there. That was a text I just got. Put the demand on. The motorized valves I've just energized, I didn't click. Now you might not be able to hear this but inside here you listen dead carefully. Can you hear that pulsing noise? That boom 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 boom. Well, that pulsing noise is the board really stuck on the board it's just stuck there's no lights on if you ever hear this noise pulsing on and off you sometimes get this on gas boilers as well on the ignition board it's just pulsing on and off well the circuit board's gone on it so it's going to be a big job to do. We've got a video on this. Um, me and Gillan done it actually. And it was um, a job in, I think, um, Frogsham Way in, um, York, not in Cheshire. Anyway, All right, yeah. it was one of these and it's a big job. You've got to convert it because the board, what's in there, is not being made no more. Oh, I see. It's a new one conversion and it's a total nightmare because you have to, on this particular boiler, what, what it is, it's got one supply coming into it and on the new one, you've got to sort of bring like two supplies into it. I'm just looking for the spare switch, so this is the main power. Right, I've turned that off, yeah? But, see that light? It's still on. So it's got another supply coming to it. Mm. Yeah? So there was all wide the wrong way. So it's got two supplies. That one. And that one there. So I'll turn that one off. Now, the lights have gone off. So it's got two se separate supplies come in. So on a new board, you're looking at one. Mm. Because many moons ago, I worked on the same boiler. I fit the board, wired up as it's supposed to be, put the two supplies in, bang. The new board doesn't like it. Mm. And there was wired incorrectly. So when you isolate that one, Mm. It's supposed to kill that one from one source. Right. This has got two sources. Mm. So you could turn it off, think it's oh, it's dead. Work on it and get electric shock because it's coming from that secondary source. You see what I mean? Mm. So I'll turn it back on again. We'll turn. Back on again. Now, look at that. It's now started. You hear it, it's got a cooling fan inside. What should happen? The power light should be on. I can't hardly see it. You can barely see it actually. 
It's saying it's running. And then it'll go back into that mode at, ra at some random point. It'll start doing that noise. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We've just reset it, just turn the power off. But that's what the customer's been doing. We'll get a confirmation because we'll speak to it now. So it's back on at the moment, the boiler. I've reset it and it's back on. What have you found yourself? What have you been doing to sort of get it going or? Uh, we haven't really done much because it just didn't seem to be working. So we seemed to put it on and that seemed to make a noise, but then nothing was happening. Right, so what, on this, on the timer or um, on, this, on the switch? Well, this, it seemed to click and then that seemed to make a noise. Um, but it wasn't heating the water. Like a pulsing noise, like a doo, doo, doo. Um, like a faint pulsing noise. Maybe. Yeah, that's what it was doing. Yeah. Just going, just continuous stuck. Just, yeah. Yeah, like a broken record. Mm, mm. Yeah. Well, it's the main board. I've seen a lot of them do it. Right. So I've reset it. It's on now. Yeah. But it will go off and do the same thing again. What you've experienced. I was just doing this a minute ago. Video right. it. Yeah. And I've turned it all off, turned it back on again. It's now yeah. started working, but it's the main board. So does that need replacing? Yeah, and it's very expensive. How much is that? I'll put it on camera. We'll <laughs> catch you when you fall over. <laughs> right. Um, they're near like 400 quid. Wow, mm. right. Yeah, and then you've got the labour. Right. Because, as I was saying to Nadine, yeah. the board on this is not different. It's, Totally different to what's in there. Right, okay. And because that board, what's in there, is obsolete. Yeah, I see. And you have to get this conversion, and right. the way it's done, it's just totally different to that one. Yeah. And you, and also, see this wiring, what you've got? Yeah. But you've got two switches. You've got that one there. Yeah. And you've got that one there. Yeah. So it's got like two feeds going into this. Right. So in a new one, you only can have one. Yeah. So you've got to change the wiring. Right from that one and incorporate so it just switched through this one point right, so you I got two, you got two separate points yeah. so if I switch that off now yeah. that's still live see okay. that look it's not yeah. turned it off but on a, on a new board it can't work you'll blow it right so you have to change the wiring too yeah yeah so it's a bit of a job okay yep so that's the situation Right. So that's the end of the diagnostic. Um, you see what we went through. And um, we'll be back with the new PCB. There's a video already made of replacing this PCB. If you check on the website, you'll see that. So that's the end of this video for today. And we'll see you on the next one.